This Tech Tip video will focus on how to transfer model geometry from Revit to a VE model. Let's start by looking at our Revit model and considering what settings we should use. We must ensure that all building elements, such as walls, floors, and ceilings, have been created with the room bounding option ticked on. This will ensure that our volumes are computed correctly. To import our model from Revit to IESVE, we need to choose between two methods of defining our model spaces in Revit. We can either use rooms, which can be found under the Architecture tab, or use spaces, which can be found under Analyze. The choice of methodology is important, as it determines what information will be transferred in addition to the model geometry. Using rooms, will transfer only the building location, building type, building constructions or fabric, and the room names. But using spaces will bring in all of this plus additional information, such as the room type, the occupancy, the electrical data, and the zone data. Whichever method we select, we must ensure that the room or space area computation is set correctly. If we go to the Analyze tab, under Spaces and Zones, we can set the area and volume computations. We'll select the option At Wall Center. This example model has been set up with both rooms and spaces, so it's important that we distinguish what our preference is for export. We go to the Analyze tab and use the Energy Settings option to set this. If we go to the Advanced area and select Edit, we can scroll down to the section for Room or Space Data, and here we set our selected Export category as Spaces. Now we can return to our model to check the spaces that we have set. On the ground floor, we can see that the spaces have been created with an upper limit set to Ground Floor Ceiling Void, because for this model, we want to include the voids within our export. We can see this clearly in a sectional view. We'd recommend setting the upper limits as levels instead of using the limit offset constraint. This helps to ensure accurate geometry and also means that subsequent level changes are automatically accounted for in the spaces. Because we're exporting ceiling voids, we need to place spaces on this level. For this particular model, only one space is required, with the upper limit set to the first floor. We should repeat this process for the first floor, where spaces have been set with an upper limit of the first floor ceiling void. Lastly, in order to incorporate the roof shape, we need to set the upper level for spaces below the roof as roof level 2, so that the full volume of the space is being enclosed. Having set up spaces throughout our building, we're now ready to export this model to GBXML format. We go to File, Export, GBXML. Here, we select the option to use Rooms or Spaces, Elements, and then we wait for it to save the file. Now, we'll open up the VE. We select New Project, and then Create from BIM File. Once we've selected the GBXML file, various import options become available. There's a brief explanation of each option on the screen. For this example, we'll pick the default option of Geometry and Assigned Data. Then, we click on Create Project. When the project is created, it will open in the VE, where we can see that our model geometry has been successfully imported from the GBXML file. We can see the geometry in the main window and all the space names listed in the model tree. We can also use the model viewer for a quick visual check of our import from all sides. If we had other data, such as constructions, within our Revit model, we could check this data too, but we've only focused on geometry today. We'd recommend that at this point you use the model at drop down menu to run a model report as an additional quality check on what has been imported. Thank you for watching this video on how to quickly set up a Revit model 
for GBXML export, and then import this file into the VE to set the model geometry. For further hints and tips on the VE, please check out our other Tech Tips videos.